Hey, coming back at you. This is the El Donzo and D Show on Cities 92.9, the news and talk of Bloomington Normal. I'm El Donzo. I'm Dees. And I think we want to get this out of the way, out of the way real quick here uh, before we get into the serious stuff. Well, this is serious, too. Somebody, somebody passed away. But it was uh, Paul Rubens, also known as Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> uh, he's 70 years old, right? Yep, and he died on what was it, July thirty first? Yeah, after a six year battle with cancer, um, was in quite a few things, but was still kind of relatively unknown until he broke out with the Pee Wee Herman character, and of course, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I believe it was Pee Wee's Playhouse was the uh, well, show. yeah, that was yeah. the show which yep. then birthed Pee Wee's Big Adventure of a you know the old bicycle. And, um, you know, he was very talented. Just don't sit in front of him in the movie theater. Yeah, no, no, no. Do not sit in front of him or around him in the movie theater. It reminds me of that. Uh, I couldn't help but think if you ever tried that thing, like in that movie uh, Diner with Mickey Rourke and the popcorn. Never Remember seen that? it. Never yeah. seen that. He cuts mm-hmm. a hole in the bottom of the popcorn package and, you know, and his <laughs> girlfriend's grabbing the popcorn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, probably get kicked that off. Was from another, that, uh, that was a Dave Chappelle segment, too. Great moments in hookup history. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. Oh, good old Dave Chappelle. But yeah, Pee Wee Herman dead at 70 years old. And uh, it, Lawrence Fishburne was on Pee Wee's Playhouse, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. he was. Uh, cowboy. Um, or, yeah. No, what was his name? Yeah, it was Cowboy. Cowboy. Oh, man. Cowboy. So we didn't do our research on no, this. No, we didn't. It wasn't Cowboy Bebop either. No. God, Curtis, Cow- Cowboy, Cowboy Curtis. Curtis, that was it. Yeehaw! Yep, Cowboy Curtis. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So Paul Rubens has died. He was actually a good stand-up comic too. Yeah, he was a uh, talented guy. Bit of a weirdo. Was very good in. Uh, I, I believe it was Up in Smoke, the Cheech and Chong movie. Was he up in Up in Smoke? Uh, yep, he was in Up in Smoke. He he was also extremely good in Blow. Mm. With Johnny Depp. That was it. That was it. That was absolutely it. Blow was the one I was thinking of. He yeah. played her good. And then he was in uh, M- Mystery Men, too. Yeah. Yep. He played the guy with the flatulence, didn't he? Did he not? I believe so, yeah. So, anyway, Paul Rubens passed away. But, okay, getting on to serious stuff that actually affects us. This Trump thing. D's. Yeah. Well, come on, man. Give it to us. What do you got on this? This is... I mean, <laughs> Look, again... Ad nauseum, we all know that I am not a Trump fan. As president, uh, yeah, I love what he did. Uh, as his mouth and everything, not a Trump fan. But it, nothing has made me like root for him more than this particular indictment. Look, you can you can make a case, however weak it might be, for the hush money stuff because look, he definitely had relations with her, probably paid her off. I don't think that there's quite a trail that can really tie him to it. Probably be convicted because of who he is anyway. But so anyway, classified documents, again, probably had some stuff that he wasn't supposed to have. Right. And just to jump in there real quick, name me one president or anybody else in in, that came from the White House or is held public op public office that hasn't. Oh, I agree. I agree. But this indictment is. A flipping joke. Like, they are literally saying that, you know, you can no longer speak your mind. And it's all nothing but a giant distraction. And all you got to do is is look at the timeline. And it, it's literally, like, ridiculous what is going on here. Oh, absolutely. March 17th of uh, 2022. Or, or was it 23? No, no, this year. I'm sorry. March 17th. Yes, it was this year. Yep. Hunter finally admitted that the laptop was his. Guess what happened the next day? What was it, Dees? Trump got word that he was being indicted in New York for the hush money. June 8th, February, the FBI document broke about Ukraine paid Biden's $5 million each. Very next day, Trump gets indicted. On the Mar-a-Lago stuff, the documents. Yep. July 27th, Hunter's sweetheart plea deal gets thrown out because it's A1 BS, and we all know it. July 28th, the very next day, more counts were added to that document yeah. case. July 31st, the uh, Devin Archer testimony 
comes out with all these things that are, are which we're going to cover damning. after this. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And guess what? The very next day on August 1st, they indict Trump on these bogus January 6 charges. Nobody with even half of a brain cell can look at this and say that, oh, these are this is all coincidence. It's not coincidence. They are literally deflecting from all this stuff going on with Hunter and, and Joe and all this other BS and trying to immediately turn the tables on him. And honestly, my dream scenario is he gets convicted because he's going to on on one of these 78 charges that at least he's going to get convicted. And, and then he still wins and just walks out of prison, just flowing the double birds, pardons himself, and then just goes absolutely scorched earth. Yeah, scorched earth. Scorched on the earth whole as damn it should system. be. So first of all... Uh, Presidential immunity, he's got that. Second of all, okay, constitutionally, he's got a freedom of speech. Any, You can go and say whatever you think as long as you are not actually slandering people or causing people to incite a, an insurrection. Yeah. He didn't incite an insurrection. That never happened. That never happened on January 6th. Go back and, liberals, if you're listening, go back and watch the video. He never told people to incite violence or an insurrection. No. He never called for that. He was be, he had a legitimate gripe. Exact He did word. not think this was correct. Yeah, his exact words were, go and peacefully protest and have your voices <clears throat> heard. And remember, we are the party of law and order. Like, how could how could it be more clear that he's saying go go have your voices heard peacefully not you know what ended up happening which again uh there were some people that weren't supposed to be where they were at but i'm still of the belief that they weren't the ones that first got in there they followed suit i i think the whole the whole damn thing was set up you and i argued about this on the show about people that were in there and and after watching what has transpired over the course of the last few years i'm I'm now convinced that this this whole damn thing since 20 well it probably started back in 2015 2016 absolutely but, but i think the, the the last decade has just been one giant conspiracy to keep the right or in this case donald trump away as far away from from office as possible go back i wish i, I should have pulled the clip but go back to however many months ago it was when they were talking to Joe Biden when he was still somewhat coherent before dementia had fully taken his decrepit old brain. And he said we were, you know, they were talking about Trump running for president and he, his, he will have to do uh, whatever under the Constitution that we can to make sure that he never takes office. Well, I've actually got this. In other up. words, I'm going to indict him for ripping off a friggin' mattress sticker. Like anything that they can get. Listen to this. So I've got this New York Times report in March 2023. In the past, Mr. Biden privately told his close circle of advisors that Mr. Trump posed a threat to democracy and should be prosecuted for his role in the events of January 6th. According to two people familiar with his comments, he also told confidence that he wanted Attorney General Merrick B. Garland to stop acting like a ponderous judge and take the decisive action. Political reported in June 2022 that House Democrats were upping the pressure on Merrick Garland to prosecute Donald Trump. CNN reported in March 2022 that Democrats are increasingly worried that Garland will let the former president go unpunished. So are you really going to sit there and tell me that Merrick Garland came up with this on his own? This is a political winch hunt. You want to talk about uh, you want to talk about uh, interference in an election? Right. This is it right here. Donald Trump's a front runner and they're going after him and they're trying whatever they can to smear him. And, you know, Trump came out on uh, Truth Social and made a really good point. They're trying to exhaust his funds in in legal matters. Yeah. That's what they're doing. They're going to make sure that this guy fries over well, this Yeah, stuff. I mean, that's not that's not their intention, but it's a nice side effect, I'm sure. Their intention is just to to put him in jail and, and, and kill any hope that they, he has. They are, and we're going to get more to this in the, in the third segment. They are scared to death of Donald Trump. Yeah, because I'm going to tell you something. Donald Trump made a lot of mistakes in his first term in office. 
Okay, one of his biggest mistakes was picking the people he picked. Yeah, Donald Trump's not going to make that mistake again if he ever gets into office. Yeah, and, and keep in mind what one of the things that started this all: fifty-one former intelligence officials, including five former heads of the CIA, right. went on record in the twenty twenty election saying yep. that Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation. Of course, we learned that the, it was in fact real. And they did it in coordination with Joe Biden's campaign. And a few of them even admitted they did it because they wanted Joe Biden to win. And And, Merrick Garland. Yeah. And not a single one of them has been charged with conspiracy to defraud the United States. You're absolutely correct. they all have their security clearances to this day, which is one of the very charges that is on this new indictment. What we're seeing here is literally the fleecing of our country when they can come out and just smoke and mirrors this. And that was one of Joe Biden's biggest talking points in the uh, debate with Trump was 51 former uh, intelligence officials came out and said that this was Russian disinformation. Yeah. So now. Not only that, let's Hillary Clinton cried election fraud when she lost. Al Gore did, too. Uh, Yeah. Al Gore did when when he lost to to Bush. Um, The chick from Georgia. Oh, Stacey Abrams. Stacey Abrams. Same thing. Like, where are their charges? No, there's not there because there's double standards in the United States of America. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Eldonzo and D's aren't going to put up with this BS, okay? We're at least going to say how it is. And we will be right back here on Cities 92.9 to get into even further depth about this. Hold tight. We'll be right back. Hold tight. We'll be right back. 